have you ever think in business why some customers come back and others don't? It's like, go think back. This time you can know the why. Imagine a marketing manager asking you this question. This KPI is called retention rate. And in this video, we'll analyze the reasons why, why it is uh, low or high, depending on the case, and the tech process to obtain that information, all using Power Platform and Artificial Intelligence. Hi, my name is Sara, and this is Wisdossi. But you know what? I'm going to stop talking and talking, and I'm going to show you this through a story. This is Alicia, passionate about Power Platform at Astronomy Solutions. She describes herself as an eternal beta, with the maxing of everything can be improved, where she also takes advantage of any event to be updated, she says, when referring to adopting a sticker to fill every last free space of her laptop. One day, while Alicia was watching a video tutorial titled Build Your First App with Power Apps in 30 Minutes, John, remember John, knocked on the door worried he had been reviewing the retention rate of the campaign when he noticed it had dropped, but he didn't know why. So Alicia set to work proposing the solution in two fundamental steps. The first step was thinking in a strategic way. So the first thing that she thought was how to get the client's quality data. Secondly, how to get that feeling from that data. And thirdly, how to get that insight. But we have Power Platform and Artificial Intelligence. So for the first item, she applied Power Virtual ANC. She created a, a chatbot for that. Secondly, to get that feeling, she applied AI Builder, the Artificial Intelligence applied, applied to Power Automate, to analyze the feelings get from that data, connected to a database. And from that, she could get insights in applying the different KPIs we have talked about, uh, creating a dashboard in Power BI. And the second step is the implementation. Once we know what we have to do and why, then we can create these different items we have seen before. So first item was created the uh, chatbot in Power Virtual Agents. In this case, the name of the chatbot is Valentin, and here we are. I'm not going to explain the different topics that are interconnected, but I'm going to show you how are they uh, moving between each other. I, it's important to know that inside Power Virtual Agents, the, the time of charging lasts a little bit uh, more than when you publish this uh, chatbot in in any website or application, okay? So let's begin. Okay, hello, I, I'm Valenti. How can I help you? Okay. I want to buy a telescope. Okay, so do you mind if I ask you some questions? Could you give me your last name? Yeah, sure. My last name is Rodriguez. And then, as you can see here, the chatbot is also connected to the CRM of the company. Okay, because she knows that uh, the last time I bought something was the last uh, first of September. So this is an important step to, to, to apply in Power Virtual Agents. What type of products are you interested on? Well, in this case, telescope. Okay, this is a push action from marketing department. In this case, from the pricing department that John applied in, in, in price, in, in the Acromat price, as we saw in the last video, because it was a little bit expensive compared to the market. Okay, so yes, I, I think it's a good idea. Now, the chatbot shows me the different options that I have in the Acromat uh, telescopes, in this case, I'm going to choose this one because it's the, the cheapest one. Okay, uh, now she's asking me about the, the, me the pay method, in this case, debit, debit card. And this is a good practice, okay? Uh, before any important step uh, of the client in the chatbot, uh, it is recommended to ask again to the client or to the user before uh, confirm any important uh, action, okay? In this case, she's asking me if I, if I am sure. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, now I have paid my, my telescope and now she's asking me through a gamification strategy. I'm going to talk about the gamification world in another video uh, that the, the company gives me uh, 20 points if I give my opinion. I collect these points and then I can uh, change points for, for another thing. In this case, yes, I want to share my opinion and this is another important Good practice. In this case, the chatbot is asking me if I if I'm sure because uh, this information is going to be treated inside the company. 
in an anonymous way, but just to let me know for, for good practice and for, for legal practice mostly. So yes, I want to share, I agree with this uh, policy. And now I am available to uh, to write my opinion. So in this case, I think the agreement fairness goal is a little bit uh, expensive compared to the... And what happened here is that my opinion travel from Power Virtual Agents through a Power Automate uh, flow, applying artificial intelligence. In this case, the AI builder analyzes if the, my opinion is positive, uh, negative, or neutral. In this case, it's negative. So depending on the answer, the answer differs, okay? In this case, she knows it's a bad opinion. So that's why this answer. We are sorry, we'll do, we'll do our best to fix that. And now, this information uh, goes to a database that is connected to a Power BI dashboard. And here we are in the Power BI dashboard to get the insights from that KPS we saw before. So first step, uh, the overall company sentiment is not bad. It's not so good, but it's not bad. Okay, so maybe John was uh, more worried that he should be, but it's something that he should fix. But why is that? Why is decreasing the, the, the retention rate? Well, we can see that in the positive uh, score, the, the tennis scope is a good choice, the tool and the, the books. Okay, sounds great. Especially the tools. The tools sounds uh, or, or feels like they are a good election for, for customers. Then the neutral opinion comes from the books, but which type of books? The introductory book. Okay? And the negative. Where is the problem here? Well, the problem comes from the Acromat tennis scope. So we could see the telescopes had a good sense, but not all the, all the telescopes. The acromat ones shows a bad uh, sentiment for our customers. As we could see in another video, the acromat telescopes were very expensive compared to the um, kit. So you may apply a 20% discount, but we can see it's not enough in this case. That's how John was able to face the reality that the promotion of Acroma telescopes really fell short. Of course, by the time the season ended, he needed to study how to increase the value of this product to thus exit the red ocean he had voted into. But that, dear friends, will be another story. And that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this content. If so, please like, share, comment, or subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Oh, 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 oh,